How you doing, Mr. DJ, back on the Sock Hop YouTube channel, my Sock Hop YouTube channel. Time to break out the Dairy Queen banana splits and the Coca-Colas, and let's jump in that 1957 Chevy crank up the top 40 radio station, and they're playing a lost 45, 1959, Ronnie Height from Seattle. His rendition of Come Softly to Me. Bill Boar's Hot 100 of April the 18th, 1959. Let me read you the top five of Bill Boar's Hot 100 from that week. Let me go all the way up to number. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count it down for the top five. April 18th, 1959. Tragedy by Thomas Wayne with the Dell Odds, a song that the Fleetwoods did. Uh, Brooke Benton, It's Just a Matter of Time at number four, later covered by Randy Travis. Pink Shoelaces by Dodie Stevens. Love that one. At number three, Venus by Frankie Avalon. At number two, it's down from number one the previous week. And Come Softly to Me by the Fleetwoods at number one. All the way down to number 62 that week of April the 18th, 1959. Another edition of Come Softly to Me by Ronnie Height. African American. From the Pacific Northwest. When Ronnie Height was nine years old, his mom took him to see the Joseph story. And that did it for Ronnie Height. He was deeply inspired by that movie. He spent hours and hours working on his impersonation of Al Jolson. At the Ballard Academy, which is also in Seattle, Ronnie Hyde took tap dancing lessons. He learned how to play the drums. He later joined a group called the Five Checks when he was in high school. The Five Checks of doo-wop R&B group inspired by the big R&B groups back in the early 50s. Bands like the Dominoes, the Clovers, the Five Keys, the Drifters, doo-wop, R&B, harmonizing. Later on in the late 50s, Ronnie Hyde got a deal with Door Records, a seven-year contract with Door Records, and that's when he recorded uh, Come Softly To his rendition of it recorded, produced by Ernie Freeman. His edition went to, or his rendition of the record only got as high as 76. That's it. No, I take that back. I'm looking at the wrong set of notes. That set of notes is about the Olympics. Let me look at this set of notes. His rendition was at number 62 the week of April the 18th, 1959, but it only got as high as 45 was not near as big as the Fleetwood's version of Come Softly To Me. On Billboard's Hot 100 for six weeks, that's it. But boy, what a jam. The thing about Ronnie Hyde, this guy had a silky pop voice. Not necessarily an a R&B voice. Not an R&B singer like James like uh, James Brown or even Percy Sledge later on. Uh, more of a cross between, between Paul Anka Tommy Edwards, Nat King Cole, you get the picture. Ronnie Hyde, come softly to me from 1959.